He begins this verse with, for when they say. Four is given based on the preceding words concerning Christ's coming as a thief in the night. It is obvious that the two issues are being tied together. It also explains what is meant in 2 Thessalonians 2, 6, and 7. There is a restraining force in the world. It's not going to happen until he who is taken out of the way. The restrainer is taken out of the way. Okay, we read that last week. When that restrainer is removed, which is speaking of the Holy Spirit, I've got that all defined in the uh, coming verses in 2 Thessalonians 2. It is the Holy Spirit. Then the end time events will rapidly unfold. Now, when I say rapidly, it could be, as you said, five years. It could be eight years. It could be three months. It doesn't matter. We're out of here. So it doesn't matter to us. Whenever it happens, the rapture may or may not precipitate it. It may be something else. But it will happen after the rapture. That's the important thing. Thus, there is the rapture of the church at the removing of the restrainer. Okay, once again, I'll say this. I, I, I may have said it last week, but I uh, don't want to, uh, uh, where was I just now? No, see, I want to make sure that I'm in the right place when we start uh, restraining for, okay, restrainer. Okay, um, may have said this last week, and I may not have, but, um, and now I forgot what I was going to say. The rapture, there was rapture of the church and the removing, removing of the restraint. Oh, yeah, okay, here it is. Um, uh, people say, well, is the Holy Spirit God? And you have to say, yes, okay, so the Holy Spirit is God. Well, if the Holy Spirit is taken out, how can be God? Because God is everywhere. That's right. He's omnipresent, omniscient. He's um omnipotent. So he's the big oms, all three of them. The Godhead, all three of them are. Okay, so... The Holy Spirit is omnipresent. Because he's omnipresent, how can he be taken out? Can anybody explain that? He's the third person of the Trinity. Well, no, well, because he's always present. Yes. Has nothing to do with him being the third person of the Trinity. Right. That's his role. What? Right. Well, yeah, but if the Holy Spirit is taken out and there's no Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is that omnipresent, right. he's everywhere, then how can it be that the Holy Spirit is taken out? Church. The church is taken out. The sealing of the Holy Spirit in the person. It's not speaking of taking the Holy Spirit out of the world. The restrainer means the church. The Holy Spirit presence in the church. Everybody got that? Here's an example so that you will never forget this again. Where was God's presence, presence evident in the Old Testament? In the cloud and in the... More specifically... Temple? In the temple. Where in the temple? Sanctum. In the inner sanctum, where particularly? In the Bina, Bina the, uh, Above the Ark of the Covenant between the cherubim. Mm -hmm. that's, that's where the Lord dwelt. Did the Lord depart from there in Ezekiel? Yes. Yes. The special presence of the Lord. God is everywhere. He will never not be everywhere. He is everywhere all the time forever. He had a special presence of himself there. Everybody got that? He has a special presence of himself in you right now. And you and you. Well, yeah, you too. Um, so that is what that is referring to. So when somebody tries to trip you up and say, it can't be the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is everywhere all the time, it's not speaking in that sense. It is speaking of your sealing of the Holy Spirit. Okay? Hence, the church. It is referring to the church, but only because the church is sealed by the Holy Spirit. The church is incidental to that, okay? Here's what's, what's yes. also confused. There's another flip side of that coin is that, okay, if the spirit, the restrainer is pulled out, then my original thought was is that, well, then how do you come to Christ during the... Uh, the Same way, by grace well, through faith. That's true. But because the, way they, they the Holy thinking. Spirit wasn't given until before that as well. And David was saved. Would you agree with that? Oh, absolutely. There you go. Okay. okay. It's, it's but, speaking but it of a special seal. It. That's right. But it's making it, it, nervous about like, okay. Oh, yeah. You don't have to be nervous, though, because there is a special sealing oh, upon I the church. Know, and that's coming up on a sermon very soon, by the way, just so you're aware of that. I think I peek over your shoulder. I, I just want you to know very soon that's this, this will be answered. Okay.